What unforgivable act by a celebrity did the public seem to forget too easily? CeeLo Green going viral with a new song on TikTok after drugging a woman, raping her and then saying people who have really been raped remember. CeeLo Green. The way he straight up admitted to raping people BC he thought it didn't count if they were drugged. It was so disillusioning to see him still get features invites media attention after that. Soldier Boy beat a pregnant woman into having a miscarriage. Floyd Mayweather beat the shit out of his former girlfriend, and got away with it because the judge allowed him to train for a fight he was headlining. Boy George abducted tortured a man in 2007. Why the fuck does Chris Brown still have a career? He got his comeuppance now, but R. Kelly in the early 2000s peeing on a 15-year-old girl and recording it. People seemingly forgot and forgave him so quickly, Boondocks did an entire episode about it. After reading the comments, I feel like I've been living under a rock. Disgusting world we live in. Nicki Minaj supporting her rapist husband and rapist brother, trying to keep her brother from going to prison by harassing his victim with her family. Absolute trash. 28-year-old Jimmy Page in a relationship with a 13-year-old. I've seen a new rise in awareness surrounding it in the last couple of years, but for like 30 years no one talked about how Carl Malone knocked up a 13-year-old while he was in college. Edit originally thought thought it was when he was in the NBA. Jack Nicholson beat a sex worker so bad in the 90s that she suffered permanent injuries. Remember when a 16-year girl overdosed in Don Henley's house, he pled guilty to minor misdemeanor charges and then wrote a song about how mean the media was to him? Because I feel like almost no one does. Chris Brown beating up Rihanna. Dr. Dre hitting female reporter D. Barnes in the face and attempting to throw her down a flight of stairs. How Chris Brown hasn't been completely shunned by society is beyond me. He fully attempted to kill Rihanna, and people still fawn over him because he has an alright voice. Complete and utter gutter cunt. Shocked by the lack of mentions to Jared Leto thus far. Didn't Corey Feldman say Charlie Sheen sexually abused him? I feel like that kinda just died and nobody remembers or did anything about it. Vince McMahon being found out to have given something like $15 million in hush money to women he raped. Director and child rapist Roman Polanski. He romanced a 15-year-old at 43, then raped a 13-year-old, pled guilty to it, fled France to avoid prison, and has been on the run ever since still working, still getting awards and praise. Ted Nugent adopting a minor so he could take her on the road with him. Too many pedophiles and rapists to list at this point. Caitlyn Jenner killed someone. Tupac dropped his gun and killed a six-year-old, and gang-raped a woman. David Letterman had a bedroom installed at his studio so he could have sex with interns, and so he could cheat without his wife finding out. Jack Nicholson severely battered a prostitute he hired, causing permanent brain damage. Travis Scott. So many people died and he knew. Everyone suddenly just forgot everything Charlie Sheen did. Tom Cruise being a member of a cult that disappears people. Never meet your heroes everyone. Tyreek Hill. Extremely popular NFL player who threw his pregnant girlfriend across a room. Chris Brown beat the shit out of Rihanna and people still love him and buy his music and I have no idea why. The world seemed to look past Kobe's transgressions real fast when his hello crashed to the ground. Tupac raped someone and served time for it. The many rock and roll pedophiles over the years. Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis, Jimmy Page, Steven Tyler to name a few. All had been chants for 14 year or so girls whom many of their parents willingly allowed their girls to go off with these grown men. Just Eric Clapton in general. Stone Cold Steve Austin beat the shit out of his wife, Deborah 20 years ago. He's still a beloved figure in wrestling, that everyone gets excited to see. James Franco. 
I'm shocked by the amount of people who still defend him. Truly why is James Charles still famous? Roman Polanski and Woody Allen being known pedophiles and still being praised for their work.